G'day folks, this is the start of a new project. We're going to do up the front garden. The front garden's actually been uh, done a couple of times, but it's just dropped into disrepair. What happened was we got hit by a drought and we stopped watering, which killed a lot of things. Anyway, phase one is going to be the new lighter box, so uh, let's have a look at that first. After the house was built and we moved in, I put up this temporary letter box and uh, left that really unsightly looking little bit here by the side of the driveway. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to see if we can make this look a little bit better and put in a new letter box. It's only taken about 22 years to get around to the task but uh, hopefully it's going to look good when it's finished. This is our new letter box. Now it's fairly nondescript and took us ages to pick down at uh, the local hardware store. Now just to make it a little bit different I'm going to have a crack at spraying this with a hammered metal finish. Well I took down all the plastic and stuff I was hanging on the garage to stop the paint going everywhere or getting on everything and this is the finished job. The paint job's acceptable. I've never ever painted with a uh, hammered finish before or at least not from a spray can and uh, I won't go too close because the job is acceptable but it's not fantastic. Uh, I'm quite happy with the results and I think it'll look good out the front of the house. I'm up to the stage where I'm going to put the letterbox in, in place. It's probably a week or so after I did the last little video and uh, what we have here is I, I laid a slab and uh, I'm actually going to stick a paver on top of that because honestly I didn't have enough confidence that I could make the slab flat enough that it, that the uh, letterbox would sit on it properly. But as you can see there's a hole in the paver that's going on top of the slab and there's the bolt there right in the middle. So uh, once she's in place I'll put the letterbox in and bolt it down. I checked the top of the paver and believe it or not it's as flat as a pancake or I should say it's level as to where it, it would be in a perfect world and uh, this is the best bit of concrete or the flattest bit of concrete and most level piece of concrete I've ever laid in my life and I suppose I better not get used to it because it's likely never ever to happen again. Back in the garage at the moment, that's the back of my letterbox, it has a, a screw in panel that comes off to allow me to uh, put the letterbox in place. That, that H frame there is the part that actually holds the letterbox in place. I suppose I should mention that the, the H frame just goes in like this. Falls into place or drops into place and the bolt goes through that hole in the middle of it and that holds the whole thing. So that's it in place, I'll put the back plate on, uh, tidy up around the bottom and uh, we'll be done for the day. As for my 22 year old temporary letter box, which actually survived an improvised explosive device at one time, um, I'm going to dig that down as far as I can, or dig it out as far as I can. If I can't pull it out, I'm just going to cut it off at the, as low as I can to the ground. As you can see, the uh, letter box is finished, it's in place, and the old one's gone. And this is uh, phase one of our new front garden. Hopefully, it'll uh, it won't take bloody months and months and months to uh, finish the whole job but uh, I'm happy with what I've done here and uh, as always if you've made it this far thanks for watching